It's a word to the wise. Word to the wise, fellas and ladies. All money ain't good money. Say it with me. All money, all money ain't good money. Believe that. Yeah, I absolutely hate dealing with dirty stuff. I absolutely hate dealing with dirty stuff. I get a phone call and somebody had a proposition for me. They like, look man, I got a load out of Charlotte. I just need you to get it loaded, take it down to Darlington, South Carolina. I'm like, what is it? He's like, oh man, it's just some rolls, right? Something like that must be paper. I back up. I get loaded. I'm at a regular freaking warehouse. It's not like I'm at some kind of freaking trash dump or some shit. I'm just at a regular warehouse in a dock. I get there 8 o'clock. They were done with me at like 8.40. I pull up to close my doors and this is what I'm working with. Mind you, it's $800. I'm going freaking 90 miles so I'm like alright and this is what I'm working with dog I got a trailer full of toothpaste tubes and that just gives me so many questions dog <laughs> and I I guess I'm at a I don't know B this shit crazy to me Shout out to my Panthers, you understand? Oh. Oh. Shout out to this guy. And shout out to this nasty ass place. Let's say all money ain't good money, man. We'll see. We'll see after I get unloaded how, how jacked up my trailer is. I keep a leaf blower on deck. I keep a push broom on deck. So we'll see. Muddy. They trying to mess my sneakers up. Let's see. I guess I'll go for this middle side, huh? Anyway, I'm back into the dock. Shout out to this dude, man. It took him a million years to back into that spot, and he was here before me. Like, I don't understand, fam. It ain't, you know, it ain't rocket science, but teach his own. But like I said, this load gives me so many questions. Because like I said, I have a full entire trailer. It's freaking, um... 40,000 pounds of empty toothpaste tubes. And it's just like, one, like how do they do that? You understand? <laughs> they empty. So my question is, all right, was it like a bunch of toothpaste that was like expired? So they squeezed out all the toothpaste and then bundled them up? Because, you know, I recycle, you know, I recycle trash man come, recycle man come Monday every week in my neighborhood. We recycle, but we ain't never recycled our toothpaste tube, you understand? Like, that just go right in the trash. So, I'm like, is somebody at, at the recycling center sorting all this stuff out? I just have so many questions. A, of how do you get 40,000 pounds of just toothpaste tube? I wasn't at a toothpaste plant where they made, I won't at Colgate. Uh, Procter & Gamble, none of that. That's not where I picked it up from. And there's multiple brands in there, so I just had so many questions. One, how do you get 40,000 pounds of empty toothpaste tubes? One. Unless you're at the, at the manufacturer and, you know, for whatever reason it didn't pass quality control and y'all recycling it now. 
And then two, who's the genius that was like, yo, I can sell these empty toothpaste tubes and get paid. Like, I don't know what they made out of. I assume it's made out of plastic, but, you know, who knows? And it just goes to show you, man, like, you know, if you land in your bed broke, you know, that's on you. Because clearly there's people out here with bigger ideas than you because somebody figured out that they can make money off of empty toothpaste tubes. So if they can make money off of empty toothpaste tubes, I'm sure it's a dude out here that figured out a way to make money out of socks that got holes in them. You understand? <laughs> so there's hope for you. So if you if you send at the crib and you broke and you struggling, there's hope. Keep hope alive because one of them weird ass ideas you got in your brain could be a lucrative one, man. Because I got my authority, what, 2007? Had a CDL since 2007? I ain't never picked up it. One, I don't do recycled stuff, period. So if this dude would have told me I was picking up toothpaste tubes, I'd have said, nah, I'm good. One, like, I'm not the guy that's out here hauling shredded up paper or freaking recycled plastic bottles, none of that. But dude told me I was going to be picking up freaking uh rolls that's all he said is rolls and i was like all right cool me and him got a relationship he know he called me if it's uh around charlotte man most times i go get it because i picked this up yesterday and uh you know it wasn't really a working thing like i tell you all the time people be is always like yo man i don't understand how you manage a whole fleet plus drive first of all i'm only local <laughs> I'm not over the road, OTR, so I'm at the crib every day. Second of all, I don't drive every single day, man. Like, you understand? I'm not in the truck every damn day. So, you know, I, I get multiple days where I'm not driving. I'm still handling business, but I'm not actually driving. But goes back to having a decent reputation for your business and for yourself. Is, uh, you know, people to reach out to you. Because he could have easily, this load is only 90 miles, maybe 92 miles. And he gave me eight hundred dollars to do it. He could easily put this on the load, and some weirdo would have took it for four hundred. You understand? So I don't know what he get paid, or you know what they're making off this. If it's billed by the weight or billed by whatever. But he called me and he offered it to me, and I said cool. But it's it's just crazy. And on another note, um, I posted a video, my last video, and. Um, it was a, a, a guy in particular. I can't even think of your name. I had to read back through the comments. Let me see. Let me look on my other phone. Um, pardon me, man. Patient. You know, I get an email. Somebody else offering me something. But I had a guy send me an email. Uh, put a comment on my last video. Something to the effect of, yo, man, I followed your channel because, you know, you said you was going to be teaching you know, the do's and don'ts of trucking and, and, you know, how to be successful. But recently, all your videos is you basically um, just bragging about what you got. First of all, that's not what I do. I'm not a uh, braggadocious guy. Here's the comment. Dude, name is JPJP. Shout out to you. It says, when I first started following you, you said you was trying to show people how you can get your authority and be successful no in k-n-o-w i guess he meant now though i, I get it auto correct to jack you up sometime but he says now you just telling us what you have and what you're doing no disrespect but we need the info i'm just saying so again shout out to jpjp i'm not trying to come across as a dude that's out here just posting videos bragging about what i got or whatever so I told y'all I used to take emails and DMs and give out my number um, and actually try to help people, but I had a jackass try to sue me because he took an L, and so that closed the door for that. But what I would do for you, JPJP, if you watch this video, shoot me a comment on what you what, what question you have, and I'll make a video about it. That's my word. So JPJP, shout out to you. Since you think I'm just out here flossing on people, which I don't. Um, and you trying to learn about getting your authority and being successful. I got a multitude. I mean, I did this channel. I done had this channel for a couple years, man. So 
I got videos on how to start your authority. I got videos on what I think the keys to success for having your authority are. But if you have a specific question, I'll make a video about it, man. So hit me up in the comments and, uh, you know, I'll try to make that happen. I'm not really the dude that's going to go live and answer your questions live because that's not what I'm about. And my schedule's so random. The time I go on live, you know, I might have an audience of one, you understand? <laughs> it would be, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't be uh, the move. So shoot me a comment. I'll make that video. But to everybody else, appreciate y'all rocking with me. And, you know, leave me a comment about some whack-ass load you done picked up. Because I don't, I don't like picking up a load of just random BS because I don't want to, you know, that's why I don't like dealing with reefers and shit like that. Is because I don't want to have to roll up at the truck wash to get my trailer washed out. You understand? I like dry, no touch, palletized, clean freight. I don't like this bundled up BS. I know it's, it's people out here that haul trailers full of just trash, recycled trash, trailers full of like recycled or um, scrap metal. I tried scrap metal way back in the day. That was like, I don't know what year that was, man, maybe 11 or 12. Um, we was uh, moving some scrap metal, but we was in the uh, the trailers with the automatic awnings on them. You know, so it wasn't like a box trailer or drive-in. That was cool. It paid well because you got paid. You could choose to either get paid by the load or to just charge a flat rate. I tried it both ways. But what I didn't like is when we was doing scrap metal, I had three trucks doing it, and you loaded and unloaded with a crane, and that shit is rough on your truck, B. Plus, you had these little scrap metal yards, it's all types of debris and things in the road. Kept having to replace tires and all that, so it was like, you know, it was rough. Because in a given day, we was taking scrap metal out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and taking it to uh, Inman, South Carolina, which is basically Spartanburg. So you're only going 60 miles. And then that 60 mile trip, depending on the weight you was carrying, worst case scenario, you profiting. Man, this was a long time ago, but you have about $600 a trip. And you can get about three trips in a day. It all depends on how many people was in line at the scrap metal place. So, you know, how, big, how quick you got loaded and unloaded. But, you know, yeah. Even on a rough day, you can get two trips in, and you had twelve hundred dollars at least. My numbers might be a little off because we are talking about them eight nine years ago, but that shit was just too rough on the equipment, man. The cranes just slamming in and out of the trailer, making your whole truck shake like this. So you know, we did that for a few months, and I let that ride. But I, I like clean freight, man. But if she got not your average trucker. Shout out to JPJP, man. My luck, you won't see the video, and I ain't got to worry about it, but. Y'all be easy out there, you hear me? All right, man. Let's survey what we working with. Look how disgusting this is, y'all. $800, huh? I gotta climb my old ass in here. That's what I'm saying, fellas. Old money ain't good money, boy. Got my handy dandy leaf blower. We gonna see how this works. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all be easy, man. This is bogus. Turns out my little leaf blower ain't strong enough. 
Gotta come out here old school style. Look at this, man. $800. Shout out to this punk ass Walmart leaf blower, man. You fired. You were fired. Shout out to my raggedy trail. Well, look at this, man. This is disgusting. All toothpaste tubes. Look at that. Might be some of yours, man. Which one of y'all donated the toothpaste? <laughs> All right, fellas, say it with me. Say it with me, fellas. All money ain't good money. I'm glad I was in a raggedy trailer today. But all money ain't good money, you heard? All money is not good money. That was in my trailer. Terrible money.